Hey everybody, Jarrett here with 999 Adventures, uh, back with another unboxing. Today we are unboxing some Pop Funko Pop uh, vinyl figures of the Haunted Mansion collection, the uh, newest ones that were released. Um, this here, and this, sorry, this is also part of this release, but I had actually gotten this as a present um, for my birthday, so I just opened it. Uh, That's the reason why it's open now, not part of this unboxing video. But the ones that we're unboxing um, essentially go to this collection, um, and you'll you'll see here in a minute why. But here's the butler, and here's the, uh, the Disneyland version of the Haunted Mansion. Um, and they call this the Funko Pop Towns Disney Parks Haunted Mansion with Butler. So you can still get this. Um, it's not an exclusive. Uh, right now, I'm looking on on Amazon. It's thirty five dollars for for this set right here. So you can still get this. It's really cool, um, and it'll definitely pull these together. I was really happy about getting this here, the actual Haunted Mansion, because that'll look really help kind of build the whole scenes with the characters. So the um, previous release that I'm a, that I'm aware of. Um, the reason why I say second release of of the Funko Pop for the Haunted Mansion is because. The first one happened with the 50th anniversary of uh, the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. And so with that, um, a whole bunch of retailers uh, released merchandise from Target to Walmart to Hot Topic to um, Box Lunch to some other online retailers, I believe. And a lot of them had exclusives. They were all different exclusives. And so, of course, you can imagine that all of these places basically sold out almost immediately. Um, so... I was able to get a few of those. Actually, a lot of them sold out pretty quick, and I was kind of bummed because I went like the same day, and I hit like think like a Target and a Walmart, and they were basically wiped out. And I was like, "Well, so much for that." And um, and the park exclusive, Disney Park had a um, had an exclusive. So the Magic Kingdom and Disneyland itself had an exclusive as well, and that's that was the glow in the dark Madame Leota. They released another Madame Leota that was not a park exclusive that did not glow in the dark. So it was almost identical, um, but it was not the Disney Park exclusive. The Disney Park exclusive obviously uh, sold out in like two hours or three hours or something, and then it was gone. And so, uh, of course, I was like, great, I didn't get anything out of this collection, this stinks. And so um, I ended up going online and seeing some other ones came through, and I ended up getting the, um, the Caretaker from Box Lunch. This was the exclusive uh, release for that. And um, a little fun information here that the uh, the most people call refer it to um, this gentleman here when you're coming down going into the graveyard as the caretaker with his dog with ribs showing they call him Bones and the dog I guess doesn't officially have a name but when they did meet and greets back in the day with the caretaker they refer to the dog as Bones so um, now like I said I've said caretaker like three times. I guess uh, there's been about five or six other names that uh, the caretaker has had over the years, but the most notable one and the one that stuck the most besides the caretaker is Silas Crump, um, and that's kind of, you know, to pay tribute to Raleigh Crump, which was one of the Imagineers, obviously. Um, so that being said, I haven't posted the work that I've had done yet on my Instagram or anything like that, so speaking of the, uh, the caretaker and the uh the dog bones here's my haunted mansion sleeve that i have started it's going to be my entire arm but there you can see the caretaker with some ghosts coming out of the graves and there's bones and then on the inside of my arm so far i have a uh, madame leota started so that's what i've got so far it's pretty big work huh that'll be awesome to show off when it's complete and then um the other exclusive I got was, this was the Hot Top exclusive. This is called the Merry Minstrel. Um, plays the harp, plays the uh, Grim Grinning Ghost. So, nothing too fancy, but this one's cool. Uh, it stands kind of weird, always wants to fall over. And so, I know I said that the Madame Leota was out. And one day I was back in the park very shortly after, and they restocked them. And I think that was one of the first times that they actually restocked a park, a park exclusive. Um, and they had a shelf full of them. So these sold out in like two or three hours. They were on um, on eBay almost immediately for, you know, $50, $60, 100 for these things. And people were paying for it. And then, but I, I won't do that. I refuse to, to pay that kind of money for uh, people that are just price gouging, um, like with the... This, it's a whole nother conversation, obviously. Um, 
I feel like there's a piece of hair there I'm trying to pull out that I can't see. Anyways, this is the official Disney Parks exclusive Glow in the Dark Madame Leota. They did restock them and I was able to pick one up, so I was super excited about that. So, for not getting any of them to end up with three of the exclusives, um, I thought that that was pretty cool. So, that's what I ended up there with the uh, 50th anniversary release. And now I'm only doing is knocking them over. I think there was something else I wanted to say about that. But, nope, never mind. Anyways, so, I, because I had started buying some online, I started getting, of course, you know, when you go on your Facebook or something, there's an ad. And so I started getting ads for them, and I, and I start. so the first time I got an ad was for, like, some toy store of, like, New York. And it said, uh, you know, it showed me um, these figures, and I was like, oh, is that real? I wonder if that's real, but I didn't trust the source. So I started researching a little bit and found out that I could order them from Hot Topic and pre-order them, which is what I ended up doing. Um, and I think I ordered these, I don't know, like February or March or something. Like it's, it was a while. And uh, two of them showed up and then probably another month and a half went by until the other one finally showed up. So anyways, uh, there's no particular order in which I'm opening these, I guess. I'm just going to go for it. I just have them in the boxes they ship them in to keep them nice and protected. So first we have Alexander Nitrokov, which is the the bald man, as most people refer to him as the uh, the guy that stands on the TNT you know, dynamite uh, in the stretching room. So... There's that. Let me uh, open him up. As you can see behind me, um, and with these, I do intend to open up all of my pops and display them because I feel like you could actually get to enjoy them and look at them, not just... I mean, the box art's awesome, too. I definitely like that, um, but it just doesn't display as nicely. and You can't see them, and if there was maybe a way to kind of do it like this, that'd probably be okay, but I'm not doing that. So, anyways, here, here it is. Let's... Uh, Got me on the focus. Let's turn that around. So this is very cool. I saw a uh, a version and even some pictures where I guess there's a taller version and it's got the full. Uh, I think you call that a keg, powder keg of uh, gunpowder, dynamite, whatever below it that he's standing on. Um, so I'm not sure what the deal is with that. I haven't looked. His head swivels, so that's cool. Um, but anyways, there's. Alexander Nitrokov. I was just actually reading something um, that I want to circle back to. One hour later. Okay, I found what I was looking for. I thought, I was wondering if, if this has always been his name, the Alexander Nitrokov. Um, obviously, when you're sitting in the stretching room, not a lot of people probably, if unless you actually did research, know the name of the characters behind that, but I was reading on the uh, Wikipedia the list of Haunted Mansion characters because I wanted the actual specifics and I was just curious on a few other things. And um, it had the stretching portraits listed by uh, essentially their features. So for him, they called him the balding man. And then they have the old woman, the brown haired man, the tightrope walker. And, um, but I didn't actually read all the way into it, but the farther I read into it, I, I found that that's just how they're saying the Baldy Man is this, and then it eventually says Alexander Nitrokov, who came to the mansion one night with a bang. So he was an ambassador. Anyways, that's why he looks all fancy with his tail coats. Put him back there, and um, not to worry, people that are collectors, I'm a collector as well. I just have no intent of selling in my stuff. Maybe one day, hopefully one day, I'll be able to give this entire collection of things that I've amassed to my my kids or something or grandkids, and they can and they can cherish it. I know that uh, there's Disney sellers and there's Disney collectors, and I'm most certainly a collector. Um, so I do save all of the boxes. I have them. I have them. I repack all the boxes into a stronger box packing tape, label them, and then I put them in my shed, so that I do ever I do have them to maintain the, the value, I guess, of the entire piece. Make sure I have it all, so, um, yeah. Let's put that over there. Moving on to the next one. We have another brown box. It's quite lovely. And inside this brown box is Constance Hatchaway, which is also from the stretching room. 
and she is the old woman holding a rose and smiling. Um, and then as the as the stretching room goes up, it um, reveals that she's sitting on top of a tombstone of her late her, her late husband George, who is depicted on a marble bust with his head split by an axe. So Constance wasn't so innocent after all. Anyways, there's Constance Hatchaway. Let's open this up. And there she is there. Come on. I think you can see that good. So anyways, there she is. Uh, you can see the rose that she's holding there. You can see her nice earrings. Her hair is nice. She's sitting on top of a tombstone. Just as I said with that, uh, with the other the one for Alexander, how there's a, another version that I've seen where it's got the full like powder keg. Uh, basically, hers is the same situation, but the um, the tombstone is is longer. It does not have, I believe, the the portrait of the husband with the axe, but it is longer, so it stands up more. So, anyways, there's that there. I'm excited to finally get these out of the box and get them on my shelf. I've uh, kind of got themed areas in my the bottom shelf, which is here. I don't know if you can see that at all. It's mostly um, more of my, my horror pops. I don't have a lot of them, but I do have more unboxings to do to add more to that. And I really wanted to get these Haunted Mansion ones out. We're doing our um, entire bedroom Haunted Mansion. So one day when it's complete, um, we'll have to show that off as well. But we've got a lot going on so far. I've got a whole wall filled with like uh, artwork and stuff that's all from the Haunted Mansion. And then... Um, this room wall we're going to do over here, we have an idea of doing it like the stretching room. So we're going to do the wallpaper and then the chair rail and then like the green or the paint down below. And then we'll hang the portraits of like the stretching room characters. So we thought that would be cool and it's a whole other thing going on back there. So anyways, these were all going to look great. Especially now that I've got more of them. See this guy always has a hard time standing. Has trouble standing on his two feet. I think you gotta get the right position of the head. See? Took him out again. So he's gonna lay down for now. I'm gonna leave that one there. This is looking pretty good. And we got one to go. Here's the last one, another cardboard box. And she's gonna go with the butler perfectly because it's the maid. The maid and the butler. You can see on the back there they just had these three listed, so I was able to get all three of them. And uh, here's the maid. Ooh. Look at that. Super cute. Got the uh, the reddish hair. Holding a mirror of sorts. It is a mirror, right? Yep, holding a mirror. I wonder what that's supposed to be on her wrist. Either way, here's the... Uh, the full turn. So there we have it. There's the uh, the set, the collection. Um, there's the three that I could order online, and then the actually I could order them all online. But there's the three that are on the back of the box that I was showing you that were the the newest ones that came out. And then there's also the uh, the Butler and the Haunted Mansion. Um, itself and that's the Disneyland version so there you have it there's the uh the new Haunted Mansion pop unboxing um I hope that you enjoyed this video do you have any of these um they're all available that you can still purchase them um even the exclusives that I showed you earlier the exclusive from Hot Topic and the exclusive for Box Lunch are still both available so you can pick those up um if you're if you're interested and for a normal price you don't have to go on Amazon or eBay and find somebody that's uh, selling them at an inflated rate. You can still pick them up for the standard $12.50 that you can normally purchase a pop for. So um, they're still available. Just got to look. Um, anyways, um, if you haven't already, uh, please give this video a like and comment down below what your favorite pop um, Haunted Mansion one was. You can even include the ones from before or maybe even one that I did not mention. Maybe one that you picked up that, that's your favorite. So go ahead and let me know which one that is down below. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. I've got some more of these coming soon. And, uh, of course, all kinds of theme park footage 
um, just sitting away on my hard drive, re getting ready to, to put it onto a video. It's ready, it's ready for people to see it, so uh, I've got a lot of work to do. Um, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.